Okay. Now, just moving on to um, government announced yesterday uh, that they've got this inquiry and uh, Sir Jerry Mataparai um, looking into the civil defence response. And then obviously at the regional level, we've got an inquiry going on there as well. Um, what do you think about this? Is this a good thing? Will it achieve anything? So firstly, from a regional perspective, um, uh, the review that we have um, launched around our civil defence process, uh, it's actually vital. Um, that we do that at the regional level because we uh, need to provide a system of coordination in these emergencies that people trust um, and that are able to cope with the variety of things that can happen in an emergency uh, in the Hawke's Bay region. Um, and when we go through something like this, uh, we have to learn and we have to improve um, how we may respond in the future. And the particular challenge for us in this at a regional level is that on the morning of the 14th of February, we lost every tool that we thought had some level of um, stability for us to work together. We lost our roads, we lost our radios, we lost our phones, we lost our power. And we went from a region who unites and works really strongly together to being a region where pretty much every household was separated and had their own story and their own experience. So even the regional review is important for creating, well, what is actually the true sequence of events uh, and all of the moving parts to what happened in Hawke's Bay. But in addition to that, it is really important that the government looks at this from their perspective, because how civil defence should work is that when a local community, um, a local household or neighbourhood can't cope um, in an emergency themselves, there's coordination at a local district level. And when a local district can't cope on their own, there is coordination at a regional level. And when a region can't cope, there is coordinated coordination at a national level. And the interaction between what happened here and what happened in government and what happened in the National Emergency Management Service and the way that they um, interacted with us, the support that they gave us um, or not, and the choices that they made, they have to be um, part of the rigour of learning to improve and make sure that um, anywhere in New Zealand that may face an event like this in the future um, is better served by the system um, to help look after communities. How do you rate the response? Uh, it's very difficult to understand how to would be actually how I'd look at that. Yeah. Um, because everyone went through something quite different but eight people lost their lives yeah. in our region. Uh, and if you just look at it from that perspective, that's not good enough. Yeah. And um, we, have to, we have to learn from that. Yeah. Um, but we also have to remember that this was a, a, a natural event that nobody had any concept of what was bearing down on us. And um, overall, how we did manage to get through it was pretty remarkable. Because, I mean, sometimes I think uh, Central Hawke's Bay has been the forgotten story, if you like, of this. Because, I mean, you had Parangaha, which was quite severely impacted. Um, how are things going there now? Uh, so I was in Porongaha yesterday. Um, just in terms of Central Hawke's Bay uh, and their role in how, how everything's happened, in some ways we were lucky because we were still connected to the south uh, and through to Palmerston North um, in a way that the rest of the region wasn't connected um, to the rest of the world. Um, it meant that, um, that that we had our connection and, and uh, support and resources that could get to us a lot more easily. Um, but also we've got an incredibly resilient rural community and, and rural district um, that actually do know how to look after each other and um, how to operate in times of pretty extreme um, events. And Port Angaho is, is an absolute stellar example of the strength. And I just was there yesterday afternoon. Um, we have got an incredible task force of uh, local people that have come together, local building apprentices, uh, local um, support mechanisms. They've been supported by uh, a collaboration between council and a whole number of government departments um, and are slowly rebuilding their dairy, which is a lifeline business, reopened last week, having been significantly flooded. 
um, and they have uh, just incredibly stuck together, worked together uh, day by day, continuing to rebuild and look after each other. And I, you just have to admire their incredible spirit. Um, and they've led locally. And what that's allowed is that council, uh, civil defence, all government departments and services have been able to come alongside and put a hand out to assist and to help um, with them um, getting on with doing doing that work. And, and their story will be one that I think in, um, in the future, over a period of time, um, where people will actually learn uh, what incredible resilience can look like uh, in a system that can be pretty powerful in our communities.